Hey guys, so it's been a while, but uh, welcome back. Hi, I'm Jordan. Um, today I did a look that I actually did for the first time yesterday, and in this video you're going to see me talk about a lot of new products and a lot of new things that I've bought that I've loved, and even one that I decided I hated after filming this video. But if you want to see which products I loved, which ones I hated, how to get this gold cat eye, which I think is so pretty, and you can wear it anywhere because I'm not going to tell you where and what you can wear makeup like. Like, if you want to wear this like I did to go get pancakes to Perkins at like 9.30 at night, like go for it. If you want to wear this to school, if you want to wear this to work, if you want to wear this walking the dog, like I don't care. You do you and do not let anyone tell you where or what occasion you can wear your makeup to ever so i sat down today got everything set up and i'm still working on fixing all the problems i had in the last video like the unfocusing and the lighting and i wanted to get all that fixed before i filmed the next video which is why it's been taking so long but you know why not so this video it's not going to be perfect again i'm still getting used to this i still don't have the money to go buy like 500 dollars lighting setups like sorry and broke okay and then with the rest of this video I just want to like explain a few things there is gonna be times when I'm gonna like break and like upload me talking after the video has already been filmed because there are a few things I want to address in the video but I didn't want to refilm everything so that's why you're gonna see me like talking randomly in between I think I only do it once or twice but that's what's up and also I'm rambling so you guys can get on with the video because it's gonna be a long one so take a potty break get a snack start your homework do whatever you need to do and then I'll just talk or in the background I actually have so many new products today like I'm gonna keep using stuff that I haven't used before because it's all those 21 days of beauty and I've purchased a ton of stuff um, that I'm trying out to see if I like it for prom applications because prom makeup is coming up soon and I'm so excited um, I'm excited to go to prom too, but I'm more excited to do makeup for other girls for prom. But I am really excited to go to prom too. I went last year, but it wasn't that great because I was only a sophomore. And I went to a school that was like four hours away, but it was fun. So for eyes, we're going to start off and we're going to prime. And I'm just using the Instant Age Rewind, and it's actually for dark spots, but it's a really... It's a really great drugstore concealer, and I had forgot I had it for the longest time until my mom has been on the hunt for concealers. I, like, bought her one of these a long time ago, and she, like, didn't keep the little cap on, so it dried out, but it reminded me of it today, so... And I'm actually going to use this as a primer for my eyelids, and I'm going to go down, and I'm going to actually put a little under my eyes, just so it looks more natural when I film it. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend this all in onto my eyes. And I don't like a thick primer on my eyes at all because I think if it gets too thick, my eyes will crease like crazy. And I already have hooded lids, so I'm not trying to have any more creasing than I absolutely need to have, you know? I'm just... I'm really picky about it and I noticed that even if I use like a paint pot or a color tattoo or something that is more meant as an eye primer it'll still crease on me like it's insane my eyes are so stubborn um, okay and then I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna set that and I haven't used this I actually opened it out of the package and um, this was from Ulta's 21 Beauty Days. This was like the first day and it's the Bye Bye Pores from IT Cosmetics um, powder. But I opened it and it got powder everywhere so I just closed it and I didn't use it right away and I just went back to my Lancome. But I'm going to give it another shot because I want, I want to believe that this is going to work. You know, I feel like if you want it, you want it to work so bad that it is going to work. So I'm just taking this on um, an under eye brush. This is the Sigma F35. I'm just going to set that concealer that we put on our eyes. This is going to be a long video, guys. We're going to zoom in so you can see my eyes a little bit more up close because they are hooded and I have a really small lid area. And my eyes were really puffy this morning. 
Now that we're up close, I'm going to start in by going with eyes first and not my face, even though you can obviously tell I, I need some face makeup bad with these tan lines. And I'm really sorry if the camera is going to be out of focus for some of these shots. It doesn't like to be zoomed in and I'm still new at this, so I'm still figuring out lighting and camera angles and everything like that and backgrounds. So hopefully you guys can just ignore if it's out of focus for a few seconds because I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But I'm going to start in by going with the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon Palette. But I'm going to pick up Almond Truffle and I'm putting this all over my crease. And I'm using a BH brush today, which is the 101. And I'm trying out these BH brushes because they're a lot cheaper than um, Sigma. They're even cheaper than Morphe, I found. And they're actually really fluffy and they feel really good. I got mine at TJ Maxx. I didn't even know BH had like brushes. Um, but obviously I love BH products like BH products are so inexpensive and they actually have really nice color payoff Especially eyeshadows. They're so good. Um, like the Carly bio Bible palette Sorry Carly <laughs> She's never gonna see this so she'll never know I messed up her name But the Carly Bible palette from BH is bomb and I love the BH brow products They're like the only products I use on my brows because I think they're the best and they're the most wallet friendly. They're so inexpensive. I'm going to stop talking for a while because this is this is going to be so long. YouTube probably won't even let me upload it. Taking the same Bon Bon palette, we're just going to go in with Mocha, which is more of it's more of a caramel saddle tone color and we're going to apply this in the crease as well with just a little bit smaller of a tip of a blending brush. And we're going to place this in the crease, but keeping it a little lower than where we put almond truffle. And this is just going to help bring out the brown undertone that is in almond truffle and make it look a little bit less pink. When you're working on hooded lids, or if you have hooded lids, or you're working with a client who has hooded lids, and you are more used to deep set eyes, if you look, they're... Um, Eyes are going to have a line through them, that's where it creases, so you're not going to want to put a ton of pigment there because it's going to get hidden, but if you feel for their brow bone, my natural lid is right here, so the crease is right under here, and that's where I'm focusing this, so when I say keep it low, I'm not talking about putting it on that line, I'm talking about putting it right under your brow bone, because that's really your crease. A little blending trick that I've picked up over the years is when they say to do windshield wiper motions, um, that works really well, but I like to spin my brush in circular motions as I'm doing it because I think that's going to blend out the product a little more than just going in a straight line and going over. If you use circle motions going back and forth, it just it blends the eyeshadow a lot faster. I'm going to take this next color and I have Bordeaux. Bordeaux? I should probably have looked up how to say these. Now I'm really embarrassed. Everyone's going to be like, Jordan, that's such an easy word. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Bordeaux, Bordeaux. I'm taking this. It's more of a deeper, rich brown. It has a lot more of a chocolatey undertone. And I'm just going to apply this on the outside corners and bring it slightly up. So I'm not going to bring it nearly as far as the other two colors. I'm just going to keep it low and on my outer V. Again, talking about that crease, I'm not talking about this line going through my eyes, which can confuse a lot of people. I'm talking about my natural crease right here. It's okay if this looks really messy because it's going to get blended out with the other two shadows right away. It's really just about packing a lot of color on. It can look as messy as you want. Picking up the last blending brush we had mocha on, and we're just going to blend this out. If anyone has hooded lids, they like know this struggle. Like, when you watch normal makeup videos, like a Jaclyn Hill or someone like really famous, it's so hard because they have so much lid space to work with, and I don't. I don't have that much of a lid because they are so small and hooded. Nikki Tutorials does such a good job with that. 
she really caters towards hooded lids because that's what she has. Oh my god, finding her was like a blessing in my life. So you're going to take a little bit of that color, this darker color, and apply it onto this brush because we're not going to use it anymore for blending out. We're just going to take it and really lightly line. And you might be thinking, wow, this looks really, really dark, Jordan. But we're blending again with the larger fluffy brush. And now we're just focusing high towards that brow. Makeup is 90% blending. Blending. Whew. Now it's time for some fun. Some fun. I just picked up these products, like, I want to say last week. Um, and that's the glitter glue and then the NYX glitter and I wasn't gonna use this on myself originally I picked it up for darker skin tones because it wasn't gold. It was more of a bronze um, It's 08 um, but it's one of their glitter brilliance and it was so pretty that I Couldn't resist and it actually looks really nice So if you have lighter skin tones and you usually are looking for more of a gold and not a bronze um, This isn't gonna be a problem. It's still so pretty so I just take and I put a little bit of that glitter glue on the back of my hand, ignore like the tan, the tan lines. They weren't that good, but I'm just taking a little bit of that and I'm putting this on just a flat pencil brush. This one is Sonia Kashuk. I've had it forever. It's lasted so long. I think it was my mom's before it was mine. It has like nail polish stains on it that I know I never wore that nail polish besides for sixth grade. So that's what's up. And I'm just putting this on my lid and I'm braiding it towards, towards the bottom. This is the one time where you're going to focus on that line if you have hooded lids because that line is going to tell you where your eyelid folds over. And if you're working with a glitter, that glitter can transfer every time you close your eyes. And even if you put it under that line, it still has the possibility of transferring. I just take some of that glitter, I put it in the cap, I just tap it out into the cap, and then I take my brush and I dip directly in the cap. Um, the nice thing about these is they all have sifters, where a lot of glitters don't have sifters. Like I said, you can already kind of tell that it's trying to transfer its way onto that top lid. But we're just applying this wherever we put that glue. It's so pretty. I don't even know if you guys can tell how pretty this is. It's so pretty. Okay, now that we're done applying the glitter directly onto our lids, we can go up and clean it up and just make it look a little bit nicer and more crisp. And we're just taking that Too Faced Bon Bon palette and the dark chocolatey shade and this dense brush again, and we're just gonna start applying it right on top of the glitter. I brought the glitter all the way down to my, um, my outer V just because I have small lids and I want it to appear a little bit larger. So I'm not trying to really cover it up. I like having it all the way there. I'm just cleaning it up. Taking that first blending brush again, blending it out. I'm trying to avoid picking up any glitter on my brushes because I do not want to spread glitter everywhere. That would not be cute. That is not the point of the look. And although my eyes are already pretty dark, I'm gonna just make it a little bit more dramatic. And I'm picking up Makeup Geeks Corrupt. This is a single shadow. I just keep in a really large Z palette. And it's so black, but it can be blended out so it's not harsh. That's what I love about Makeup Geek shadows is they're not harsh. And I'm taking this on the Morphe M562, which is a perfect little crease brush, especially for hooded lids. So great. And I'm just focusing this on the outer V. And bringing it in, keeping it really low, just right above that glitter. Sometimes shadows don't like to stick right here for me because I'm going directly on my line. 
I'm taking the blending brush we had the dark shadow on and I'm gonna blend together the black and that dark brown. Again, keeping it really, really low. This step is totally optional and you don't have to do it, but I'm taking molasses chip, which is just a gold shimmery bronze color. It's not a bright gold by any means. It's just a shimmery bronze. And I'm taking this on a shader brush from Sigma and applying it directly over that glitter. This isn't going to get rid of the color of our gold. It's just going to make it a little bit bronzier and match the lid a little more for what I'm going for. It's a little bit more natural looking instead of like, you know, going clubbing or something. I don't know. I'm 17. I've never been to a club. But I imagine if you were at a club, you would want it to be dramatic. I'm going to use this Tardis eyeliner. I've never used it before. I got it today. So I'm nervous. What kind of packaging is this? How do I get it out? This is, it's such cute packaging. It looks like the melted Too Faced, doesn't it? Like I would mix these up, not really, because this one's like black, but you know what I mean? I would have thought they were the same brand. And I'm really used to using, oh, it's weird. It has like a little thing. How do I get it out? This is such a hard product. Oh, I just had to break through. There must have been like an air bubble. Um, I'm really used to using liquid lipsticks as eyeliners, so I'm hoping that this is similar to that. And I'm using this Sigma winged liner brush, which is so small and so perfect. And I'm not good at doing wings on camera, so I'm gonna be looking down, and I'm sorry, this is probably a horrible angle, but it's okay. So the way I do my liner is I start in the center because it has the most dense amount of product. And since this is a glitter, liner is a little harder to go on top of it. And then I move into the inner corner. And just slowly lining. Like, take your time lining. Take your time lining. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about this liner on itself. I know that I'm going to have to clean it up, but I don't know if I want to clean it up with the Tarte liner just because it's going to get really thick really fast. Then I'm going to go through and I think I'm going to clean it up with the my fave NYC liquid liner. This has the best brush. It's so small. It's so inexpensive. You can buy it at Target. That's where I get all my NYC products. Um, but it's bomb. And I'm going to get really close. Okay, now that we have our eyes done, we're going to go in and we're going to just take the same setting brush that we used to set our eyes and we're going to wipe off any other glitter that happens to be on our face. Um, this glitter, I've just tried to wipe some off um, when I was doing my other eyeliner that was under my eye. And it was so hard to get off. And it like burned when I tried to do it. So, if you do happen to pick up these NYX glitters, know that their fallout is extremely hard to wipe off. I'm gonna go in with foundation. Um, but first I'm gonna prime my face and this is the Stila One Step Primer. And I don't really believe in color correcting because I think your foundation, if you have a good foundation that matches your skin color, it's gonna kinda color correct itself. Um, and it's gonna cover everything, but that's just me but this one has some color correcting it has some green for redness and some red for some blue undertones but I'm just gonna see I'm trying to be a believer it actually it looks like it's covering some of my redness which is nice it's not covering all of it obviously because that's what foundation and concealer is for but it's definitely covering a lot of it, which is nice. Okay, and I'm mixing Estee Lauder Double Wear in Wheat and Ivory Nude because this one is too dark and this one is too light. So I make a little cocktail on the back of my hand and then apply it to my face. I'm going to be using the Morphe 
I don't, this doesn't say anything. Oh, G6. Uh, that good G6. That song was The Shiz. The Shizzle Dazzle when I was in middle school. No, I wasn't even middle, I was like in sixth grade. I think it came out. And I'm first just applying it on my finger because it's the finger that I use to mix and I'm just wiping it all off on my skin. Obviously my hands are clean. You should wash them before you do your makeup. And I'm just picking up the Morphe G6. So my camera got really out of focus there, but I'm just using the same concealer that I use to prime my eyes. I'm gonna use it to highlight under my eyes as a concealer on my forehead, a little bit down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And I'm gonna use a beauty blender, and I'm just gonna blend all that in. This isn't exciting, so I'm not gonna talk. Then we're just gonna bake with Aerospun Translucent Powder. I talked about this in my last video, it's great. I buy mine at Walmart, and I'm just baking. I just dropped a ton of powder. Oh, I'm glad you guys can't see that. Clean up the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. I'm gonna set the rest to my face now. Anywhere where I didn't bake, this is gonna go. This one is more of a clear white finish, whereas the other one, um, is translucent as well, but it has more of a yellowy undertone, and yellow is also pretty brightening. That's why if you see like a highlighting kit, um, they have yellows in there because it's for brightening purposes. If you're really, really pale, yellow can kind of make you look sick, so I don't recommend it if you are super pale to brighten with a yellow. Then I would go more of a pearl or an iridescent or translucent. Hey guys, so I am actually in the process of editing my video right now, which is why my makeup is all done and everything, but I wanted to come back here and clear something up so when you're watching the video, you're not confused about what happened. When I went in with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder and an IT Brush, this is an IT Powder Brush, it's just a little mini version of one. When I did it, I actually didn't realize until looking at the clips that when I put it on, the brush ended up taking off some of my actual foundation when I was setting it and just replacing it with the powder. So it's gonna look like there's a little white patch right here and a little white patch right here. I didn't mean to bake it. I didn't mean to do any of that. You were actually just seeing it like take off my foundation and fill it in with the powder. So I don't know if I used the powder wrong or if I should be using a different brush. The brush was completely clean and now you can tell that it is having like a dark top. Like this was supposed to be white. So I know it's my foundation color. Um, and I went back in and I put a little bit more foundation on my cheeks so it should all be cleared up now but that's what you're seeing and it's gonna be like that till the very end of the video this took so long to film and I'm not refilming it but uh not a good idea not a good idea next I'm gonna pick up this Smashbox bronzer it's new it looks like this this was also part of 21 days of beauty so got a ton of new products I'm taking this on a large fluffy brush I'm just gonna use this to bronze and not contour when you're bronzing, you can kind of get away with a more warm shade, and when you're contouring, you that's when you want to get into a gray tone or something that's going to have a little bit more of a shadow, but this is just for sun and to look warm. Since I'm so fake tanned, this was nice. It added some shimmer, but it didn't add that much color, so I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild Huge Bronzer in 739. I love this. When I'm tan, even when I'm pale, I can pick it up and it still works. And it's super inexpensive and I just, I love it. It's like matte, but it has a little bit of shimmer. But it's like so unnoticeable that I call it a matte. Picking up the third bronzer I have in this video. This is Benefit Tula. Um, I talked about how the NYC one was a dupe for this, but thought I'd bring out the original for today. It's almost gone. I've had this for so long. And I'm just contouring under my cheekbone in a line. I'm not going in like circular motions. I want this to clean and I don't want to bake it because I bronzed under it. And I'm not trying to get a really sharp contour today because my eyes are dramatic. I don't want my face makeup to be the center of the, the look, you know? And I'm going to wipe off the extra powder. I'm going to do my brows off camera because everyone does their brows differently and everyone has a different brow shape that they like to use. So I don't want to like tell you how to do your brows because it's probably not going to be the same thing that you should be doing for yours, if that makes sense. 
but I'm just gonna fill them in at the beginning with the micro brow pencil from NYX this is a dupe for the Anastasia brow Wiz, and it's a little bit cheaper and then towards the end I'm gonna fill them in with powder and this is the BH flawless brow powder duo and I'm just using the center and the last shade mixed I'm not using the gel today but that's what I'm doing Next we're just going to finish up our face and I always do this part last because I think these products don't last as long as all the rest of my products do. So we're going to go in with the blush and this is NARS Dolce Vita. It's really pigmented so you just need like one tap, tap it off and then you can go in. And I'm only doing the apples of my cheeks. I'm not going to focus on blending this back right away um, just because I want this to be pigmented but I don't want it to be overpowering and on my entire face you know what I mean I just want to keep my face towards the center and I want my eyes to be the focus so I don't want any heavy contouring like I said at the beginning so I'm just pushing this on the center and then I'm gonna highlight next and I'm using Becca's champagne pop this is the little palette that they came out with like around Christmas time and I actually have two of them so maybe Maybe if I reach like 100 subscribers, I'll give one away. I actually have like a ton of stuff that I have dupes or multiples of that are like nice. Like I have a ton of Anastasia lipsticks and everything. Um, so maybe. And then I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones with the Sigma fan brush. And I love these brushes. I love white. So the fact that these are white brushes. And I won these actually from Sigma. They had like a little contest thing and I had to like enter in information after I went to one of their... Um, Pro partners meetings and we learned about glitters and stuff I got to do like a little contest thing and I got some free brushes so shout out to Sigma also it's cool because they're a Minnesota company I'm just gonna quickly do my lower lash line I'm picking up mocha and I'm gonna put that on the bottom and then I'm gonna pick up Bordeaux and I'm just gonna put that on the very lower V Picking up that darker color. Next, I'm just gonna highlight the rest of my face, my brow bone, and my inner corner, and I'm gonna use this Divinity color. It's matte. I don't wanna use the satin sheets, although that's really pretty too. Um, and this is just a Morphe M124 brush, and I'm just gonna place a little on my inner corner, blend it out with my finger. Same goes to here. I'm literally still getting glitter all over my face. Like, I thought the follow up period would have been over. But I was wrong. I'm gonna have glitter on my face for like ever. Um, doing my brow bone. Last step and then we're done. I'm taking my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is gonna be on the 21 Days of Beauty in Ulta and I can't remember the exact date. But if you have an Ulta near you, it's gonna be like 50% off one of these days. For like one day only so uh google it or i'll actually link it when it is down below because that's when i stock up on these and the limit's like two two per person so uh, i bring a friend and i uh, get the most like my mom and i get them i get them and then i'm probably gonna make my dad go get two because they do limit you and sometimes they let you do multiple transactions i have a story about alta but I'll save it for another video because this one's already like 30 minutes long. Would you guys like want to hear story times or like question videos? I know I have like no subscribers so it's literally my friends watching this. But it still might be cute. I got a little on my uh, lower lash. I think they'd be fun. I'm such a talkative person because I'm in online school and I don't see people. Like, all day, like, I have had communication with my mom this morning, and that's it. Like, I don't, I don't communicate with others, so that's why. Okay, I lied. This is the last step. I'm going in and putting lashes on. These are the Ardell Curvies. They're the 411s, and I used them once before because I wanted to see if I would like them before putting them in a video, but I do. And I'm just using the House of Lashes lash adhesive in black and it's really dirty because I use it all the time it's my favorite lash glue I've had friends use it before and they've been like I hate it it like stayed on forever and it was hard to get off and I'm like good I want my lashes on all night I'm just taking the tweezers 
waiting for this to dry and it's not like um one that takes a really long time to dry so you can kind of go in right away i still wait a little bit and then put them on i need a mirror for this this is this is really hard to do on camera I keep lying to you guys and I'm like, this is the last step, this is the last step. <laughs> but psych, we still have to do lips. Sometimes I forget about lips because foundation gets on my lips and they look like nuded out already. You know, the struggles. I'm just going to put a little EOS lip balm. This isn't really moisturizing for me, but it makes my lipsticks go on a lot smoother. Even though these are so bomb, this is the Melted Sugar Too Faced. Um, these are everywhere. They have melted metallics. They're going to make like melted mattes. They're so pretty and this is just like... This is gonna match my skin tone, so do not do not freak out right away. That's all gonna be okay in the end. Next, I'm just taking more of a brown tone lip gloss. These can be worn by themselves too. They are really pigmented. They're from Butter London, and it's a Butter London lippy. Um, but they are a little bit more brown, and this is Tea with the Queen. I love the look of nude lips. I know not everyone's a nude fan, but I am. So this is the finished makeup look. And although it seemed like it took a really long time because I tend to ramble on, it really didn't take that long. It took like maybe if I was doing this on myself and I wasn't talking like 30 minutes for me, but if you're new to makeup, it could take like 45 to an hour. But if I'm going really fast, it doesn't take me that long. So if you're experienced with makeup, you know, maybe it'll be like a 30 minute look. But I hope you guys recreate this. And if you do, send me pictures. Let me know. I want to see it. And thanks. Thanks for watching. And I'll try to have a new video up soon. Bye. That's so Carly Bible. I need something. What do I do at the end? Like a bye? No, I still don't want to do two hands. A one hand hair flip. Just kidding. Don't do that. That's so tacky. And look at my roots. I get a I get it dyed soon. <laughs>